Sorry, I had to stop this because I was getting one of my children. I had to read the thing. Hey, what you Well, oh, the first thing door. I'm going to do on this Open one, that door. Please Open that door. Open that door. Is that my first crunch? Turn up full. No. Do no that. Way. I won't fly both sides. No the boys. Stop. Up there. Emmett, Alexander, and Mason Lee. Go over there, please. No. Do you both want butt whoopings? Do we need to put that on YouTube? Where the whole world can see you get your little butts whooped. I don't want to do it either. How many times has Daddy asked you to be quiet? Anyways, I'm going to clear the fraction by multiplying both sides by 1 minus 2 cosines of theta. Fraction is gone. It is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute my r in. It will give me r minus 2r cosines of theta equal to 3. This step's easy. R is, sorry, not R. X is R cosines of theta. So hopefully you see that this piece becomes take away 2x. Now the issue here is I've got R minus. I need x's and y's. This one's kind of unique. We're going to move that to the other side. And we're going to have 2x plus 3. Now, it's not going to be obvious what you do here, but I know that x squared plus y squared is r squared. I know that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides because that will give me an r squared, which can become that. If I square the left, I square the right. r squared is, if we FOIL that out, 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. I can replace r squared with x squared plus y squared. x squared plus y squared is 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. And technically it is a Cartesian equation right now. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the form of x's and y's. But you can get this to where you can actually graph it. You can isolate y so you shouldn't. 4x squared minus x squared is 3x squared plus 12x plus 9. I wish that was a perfect square, but it's not. What you can do is you can counteract squaring by square rooting. And to get the full graph, you would include the plus or minus symbol. And now it's something that is possible to be graphed even by hand. So that's how you do that one. What's up next in your little notes? We write the Cartesian equation in polar form. Y equals plus or minus root 3 minus x squared. So that's a lot like the one I just did. Isn't it? it is a whole lot like it. It's just the other way around. All right, go to town. Y is R sines of theta. I'm actually going to start there. That's an easy thing to do. Now I'm going to square both sides. You know what? I would have just thought a step ahead. I'm going to leave that Y. Not because it's necessarily going to make the math any easier about squaring but because it's going to make a step here and just a few steps easier. Now, when you square a square root, you get what's inside. And if you square the plus and minus symbol, that thing's gone. If you square a positive, you're still positive. If you square a negative, you're positive. That thing's gone. This is why I liked it, because I can move that x squared over. And now I have this little identity that r squared is x squared plus y squared. And you see what everything is hinging on here is just rote memorization. R squared is 3. 
the polar equation is plus or minus root 3. That is a circle with a radius equal to root 3. That's all she is. And I don't even need the plus or minus. It's just positive root 3. Now, had you graphed the original equation, had you gone to y equals, and this is worth talking about, maybe it'll help you comprehend what's going on. Maybe you didn't realize, but a square root of 3 minus x to the second and a negative square root of 3 minus x to the second forms a circle when you do a, not a zoom 6, a zoom square. So zoom 5, and you'll see a circle. Now in Cartesian planes, it actually doesn't finish it off. You can kind of see the gaps. But if I go to mode and I change over to polar, it'll do a much better job of graphing. Quit, y equals root 3. Zoom, 5 for square. It actually fills it all out and you get a perfect circle. That's one nice thing about polar. It doesn't have the gaps and the issues Cartesians do when graphing on technology. Uh, I skipped one there. That's fine. I'm, I'm ready to be done. So I just skipped one. Rewrite the polar equation. R is sine of 2 theta in Cartesian.